Hi there, it's the Panoptical Poet again. Today I am joining you from Prince George, BC, and I am standing outside the gates of Tent City, which is also known as Moccasin Flats. Um, I have been doing some advocacy work with a group of people in Prince George who on Facebook is called Together We Stand and uh, they're a group of people with some amazing volunteers who are doing work to advocate for people that are homeless. Um, the reason that I am doing this work and I wrote this poem that I'm about to read you is because the mayor and council of this area and the federal and provincial representatives who for some reason keep getting re-elected and have been running this area for far too long in my opinion um, are not really doing a lot to assist all of the citizens of this city and they have also in the midst of an opioid crisis and a housing crisis across BC they have chosen to pass one of the most cruel bylaws that's what it's being termed in the news, um, that has been seen in Canada for a while. And this bylaw criminalizes people that are homeless. And um, yeah, this makes me pretty angry and have a lot of emotions. And uh, yesterday was National Truth and Reconciliation Day. And that also makes me have a lot of emotions. Um, kind of like how the mayor and council of this city treats the problems surrounding drug addiction, and uh, crime and homelessness. Uh, I feel like the government, even with yesterday, the day having the day declared, it's kind of the government paying lip service to things rather than actually getting anything done. Uh, for myself, I wanted to make sure that I made the day mean something. So me and some of the Together We Stand volunteers came down here and we had a potluck with some of the residents of Moccasin Flats. And it, it is unfortunately obvious that there is a disproportionate number of residents here that are Indigenous. And so, you know, I see a lot of these crises we're having and the people that are affecting as being a byproduct of colonialism and the residential school system that traumatized so many people. Um, so I'm, I'm wearing an orange shirt for this video and I was lucky enough to be gifted this orange shirt yesterday and it was uh, designed by uh, an amazing artist here in Prince George. His name is Clayton Gautier and Kim Gucci was drumming at the park yesterday when I went and she also has designed an orange shirt so if you're getting an orange shirt please make sure that you're buying one from somebody who will use the proceeds to help with these issues. So um, I'm going to start rambling and I'm going to read my poem to you but um, I really hope that you know people took time yesterday to really think about the issues and what they can do you know not just thinking about the issues and then putting on an orange shirt and forgetting about it the next day because we have enough people in this country unfortunately a lot of them are leading this country paying lip service to things that need actual action so this poem is called housing first because the poem i'm going to read housing first was written for tent city I thought it was really important that I keep the introduction to this video and also a part that I'm going to put at the end that was filmed at Tent City, but unfortunately at that particular location in Prince George it can get pretty loud sometimes because of the traffic and um, when I started reading the poem just got totally drowned out and it has a message that I think is really really important. So, um, and uh, speaking of important messages, I'm wearing my orange shirt again for National Truth and Reconciliation Day, and this particular shirt was designed by Clayton Gautier. Uh, he's a really great Indigenous artist from Prince George, and Kim Gucci also designed, um, made a design for orange shirts that you can purchase, and that's what I wanted to bring up that I don't think I elaborated on enough last time, is that in general, when you are buying Indigenous art, please buy it from Indigenous artists, because, you know, we just had this day declared and we're all wearing orange shirts, and that's great, but if we really want to honor national truth and reconciliation, then we have to take actions like ensuring that we are not buying culturally appropriated goods. So um, I'm going to go ahead and read this poem now, Housing First, which was written about Tent City and about just the general lack of care for people who are homeless in Prince George and in BC. So housing first. 
housing first because even though my life hasn't been that bad, I know I'd be a lot further along if my home had always had things like running water and locks that would definitely keep out predators. Housing first because sometimes when you're sleeping on a street corner, the cold or the hunger in your belly is so overwhelming that you can't think about tomorrow. You can't even be truly present and available to capitalize on opportunities that never seem to come. Housing first, because on Maslow's pyramid of needs, shelter is one of the first items listed that humans need to secure before they can think about who they want to be and how they can show up to make that happen. Housing first, because if you never feel safe and secure, you inevitably must find some way to numb the fear from time to time before it drives you crazy. And if you don't even have a house, you probably don't have the same access to things like the mall where everyone else numbs out acceptably by trying to fill the void we all feel on some level. Housing first, because even if it is a complicated situation, the simple fact is that we are all united because we are all humans, different beings in the same species and taking care of each other should never be seen as so complex that we can't put housing first. So I guess, um, yeah, I'm asking the people that are running Prince George to start thinking about how they can put housing first and make sure that all the citizens of this city are safe. Because I know that Prince George gets a bad rap and I am very glad that I live in the Coozies again, but I lived here for 14 years and there's a lot of beauty in this city, a lot of beauty in the people here. and we're all living beings that deserve respect for just that so that's why i say please put housing first and think about what actions you can take to help the people and the land around you because together we can make a difference so i don't know what else i can say thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video Pan optical poet out